what should I do for my next video? Mm, if only I could get a sign. H? Oh, wait! These are stones from Puma Punku! Alright, so in a valley in western Bolivia, there are some ruins. The broader complex is referred to as Tiwanaku, but we'll concentrate on this area, the Gate of the Puma. The whole thing is believed to have been built by the Aymara people in the 6th century. Puma Punku is an array of plazas and ramps surrounding a platform mound. The site was never completed in the first place, but now there's so little left. There used to be full-on buildings with roofs and all. Now it's mostly rocks. Evidence also shows there used to be all kinds of ornaments made of ceramics, metals and fabrics. But people looted the place and time let the site deteriorate. Plus they didn't write things down so it's hard to figure out things. We know the site was abruptly abandoned around the year 1000 but it's unclear why. There seems to have been a drought around that time, so that might be a factor. They did have a large city with irrigated fields and all, near the complex. Ok, enough context. You wanna know about the stones, right? Well, there are large stone gates, or the remnants of them at least. There are also miniature versions of those. The edge stones are mini gates. There are more small ones left, but it's unknown if there used to be as many full-sized ones, or if they made all the small ones first, as a reference, and didn't have time to finish. There are still stones around that are only partly carved, showing us a bit of their process. And it's very impressive, they managed to cut the stone pretty straight, with 90 degree angles and a good level. The blocks are really flushed together, so the Aymara seem to have a good grasp on building geometry. The blocks also have joints that fit them together like puzzle pieces, making them hold really well. There also used to be pins that reinforced the joints. Oh, and the people had to pull blocks all the way from a quarry near Lake Titicaca, some 10 kilometers away. There's one block that weighs 85 tons and one that weighs over 130 tons. Do you have any idea how many bats it would take to move that? Clearly, Puma Punku was a very important place. The platform in the middle was probably used for sacrifices to the gods. The later Incas even believed that the world was created right there. Wait, how does that work? The altar is part of the world, but the world was made there? My head hurts. So, um, good night. <laughs>